Passion Igniters. Hello, Passion Igniters. Suzanne just leaped out and says she's got something newsworthy. I have something newsworthy. And if I'm speaking in a certain accent, it is for a reason. I'm talking about Kate Middleton. Everybody's talking about Kate Middleton, the princess, who, the princess, Kate Middleton, you know, she's pregnant. And they have a new date, due date I, for I, her. I don't even know who Kate Middleton is, and I don't know if she's pregnant or not. And I'm sorry, I don't really follow the royal family. Well, this is about the royal family. And for those people who follow the royal family, she's pregnant and they've released a due date. Stepa, should I even be in this video? Should I just let you go? I'll have a chat, I'll go do something. Maybe I'll go in the hot tub for a little bit. Satya, do, I, do I need to be here? Satya, there's a reason for my madness. Okay, all right. Okay? Okay. So her due date is July 13th. And the reason that I'm bringing this up is and who is she again? She is the princess. She of is, of who? Uh, of what? She is she is the the the, 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 the um of, of what country? England. She's the princess of England. Yes. Okay. Satyan. Alright, very good. And so my question is this. She has a whole lot of money, you know, obviously because she's the princess. And when she has this child, she's gonna have a lot of attendants around her. My question I'll just, I'll be here. I know you don't care. But I'm, I'm, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> but I have I'm a here. reason for this. Yes. There are women out there who are pregnant at this point in time. And they're expecting, and they may even be, may even gonna be delivered at any point in time now, between now and the end of the year. And they're wondering, you know, how am I gonna stay sexy? You know, once I've delivered this baby and as a couple, how am I going to, um, if I'm not a princess and I don't have a whole lot of attendants that are going to be taking care of the kids, taking care of this new baby, how are we going to stay being sexy together when, you know, I'm not a princess? We may not have a whole lot of money to 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 handle. Well, I think that. it's I think I think a very important part of that is the guy in the relationship loving up on his woman, recognizing first of all that all his the energy that's gone into the relationship is now 99% of it's going to go into raising this child for the first few months at least, most energy, and you are not going to be number one for a long time because the hormonal energies, the energy of survival, all of that is all going into the baby. and. I think the mature approach in this is to recognize that you're not going to be the number one, that you're not going to be the prince uh, or the king or the sovereign. Way to put it. The, the, the prince, the little princess, the little prince is going to be having the number one attention. And this is where you got to like just sort of, you know, bring your male ego to play. There's the little inner child boy that's going to feel, hey, you're not getting, you know, the, the boob is now going to this new one, you know, the, the boob. If that's the case. And you're not going to have that for a while. And if you can accept that and then turn it around and then make your woman feel like a woman, not just a mom, but l keep looking at her through the eyes and with the eyes of she is your queen. Your queen, oh. you know, letting her know that through touch, guarding the queen, mm. energy, making sure her space, the least amount needs to be done, making sure the least amount of logical considerations that have to be done. She's probably good at a lot of logical and logistical things and probably way better than you in many of them. Do your best to relieve her of those as much as you can take on. Because if you're gonna have kids, you gotta recognize it's taken on a lot more work. Accept it. Love that and love your woman as a queen. So yes, love your child and all that, but don't just take all your attention and put it just on this baby one, even though it's hard not to, they're so cute and loving and it's your child, first, second, third, fourth, whatever. It's maintaining the eyes of warrior, 
witnesses and sees the queen. The one who's bearing your children. The one who's nobly given birth in however way and, and has, has carried this on. And recognizing that your attention onto yourself is not important right now. And in fact, if you've got the feelings of, oh, I'm not getting attention the way I did, just grow up. <laughs> grow up, man up. Recognize that you're, you're a man now. You're a warrior. You're here to protect your woman and your child for the first few years. Years. And make that part of your noble mission. And in that, make that your passion, your deep passion. That's my sense. That's what worked for me. Thank you, and that's that's beautiful and really, um, really powerful. And for for us women, what we can recognize and realize is that our king is here, here, right here, and that we can let go, let go our worries, our cares, our tension and let go what 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 I like to say is surrender through your strength from your strength surrender and let go and just know that he's got you let him know that you trust him to hold you through this to hold you all yourself your child to come and that you're a one unit and in your trusting of him, in your trusting of him to hold you and letting him know that you trust him, even in moments where it's just, ah, oh, it's just so hard to let go. Let go and let him know that and, and show him that you remember who came first and that he is the king of the kingdom. Show him through your trusting of falling into his arms and allowing him to hold you and telling him that he is the king and that you're willing to let go and surrender. It feels good here. Trust me. Trust him. Ignite passion now. Everything else can wait.